home of the New York Knicks, who are 2-0 coming into tonight's game against the Orlando Magic. Although it's only the beginning of the season, these two teams play like it's the game of the century, always bringing the fans to their feet. So it's time for the face-off with Shaquille O'Neal and the Magic against Patrick Ewing and the Knicks. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. For the visiting Magic, we have the two forwards, Donald Royal and Horace Grant, who knows the Knicks very well. At the center of it all is a Shaq attack, Shaquille O'Neal. And the Magic guards are Nick Anderson and Anthony Hardaway. For New York, they begin the game with Charles Oakley and Charles Smith at the forward positions. Patrick Ewing standing tall at center. And John Starks and Derek Harper are in the backcourt. Brian Hills in his second year as head coach for the Orlando Magic. And Pat Riley, winner of four NBA titles, is in his fourth year at the helm of the New York Knicks. It's time to tip it off between these two Atlantic Division powerhouses. Let's join Bern Lundquist and Chuck Daly for the call of the game. We're underway. First meeting of the season, Derek Harper, who has been a revelation to the New York Knicks. He'll take it all the way, put it up and in. <laughs> Didn't match up, but he got right to the basket for an easy two. Bad transition on the tip. Hardaway guarded by Harper. Back it comes to Horace Grant. We're tied at two. They're taking advantage of that double team. Exhibition and early games have really been looking to push it a little bit more. Probably by design, trying to get more easy field goals to move up their scoring, which they have. Well, the run and gun New York mix doesn't sound uh, Easy on the foul. Chases it down. Now Grant comes out of it. Here's Nick Anderson for the Magic. He's got Bowie to his left. Nice move. Terrific. Middle of the floor. They, they got a break. They haven't gotten many. 8-47 lead back at 11. Grant only two points. O'Neal over Oakley. Two. Now Grant looks like a little. There's no question. But when you look at their personality position, you understand it. Well, the uh, shot beat the shot clock, and the rebound is good, and the lead is down to eight. Ewing. Give him that post up, and he makes that move in the lane. Now he'll just start to get a rhythm as he's played and ran up and down the court two or three times. By the way, oh. posting up again. What a move. What a move on Starks. Blitzed him going baseline. He's so even though they're not doubling. He's got Oakley on him now. Ah, a chance for a three-point play. 99-93 is the lead. Oh. <laughs> He's slippery around that basket, isn't he? Once the one player around the bottom. They're trying to play it slightly different. Oh, what a play by Hardaway. What a play. And how about O'Neal being... He's posting up. He's got Harper on the post up. But Harper's really denying. Really working. He's got it. Now he's looking for help. Clock. He's got to the lane. Oh, no foul. O'Neal. Yes, he got it. it up and looked like he got hammered on the arm. Got the tie. Eight seconds to go. John Starks from the baseline. Ewing got it! Pat was calling from the sideline. Let's go because the players weren't sure whether we could, should go ahead or call timeout. Oh, my! Well, somebody in Jersey likes him. <laughs> 2.4 seconds remaining now, and they'll inbound at half court. Grant throwing the ball in. There's the X play. They're going to bring Hardaway to the top, try to get the ball. He's going to get it for the steal for three. No! One oh one ninety nine is the final. Ewing with twenty four points.